Well, do face shields protect you from the coronavirus? And will wearing a mask also protect you from the flu? Many of us have coronavirus questions, and here's Dr. Malika Marshall with some answers. Flo from Avalon asks, I'm in my late 60s. Should I be going to routine medical appointments like dental cleanings, eye exams, annual physicals, and mammograms? Flo, you should feel comfortable going to routine medical appointments. The one caveat is the dentist, however, and that's not because dental practices aren't taking precautions, because they are, but dentists and hygienists are working in people's mouths or using instruments that could release respiratory droplets into the air. So if all you need is a routine cleaning, you might want to postpone it, but you could call your dentist to find out if they feel like they really need to see you right now. Another question from Felix, he asks, are shields good for protecting against COVID-19? Shields can provide some additional eye protection, for example, but they're not a replacement for masks. So if you're going to wear a standard face shield, you still need to wear a mask underneath. Wayne asks, if masks are worn to protect us from COVID-19, then why would we still need to get a flu shot? Wouldn't the mask protect us from that as well? Wayne, wearing masks will help protect us from the flu and COVID and other viral respiratory illnesses, but they're not perfect. So you still could get the flu even if you're wearing a mask out in public. Getting a flu shot gives us that added protection that will try to keep us all healthy this winter. Jane from Worcester has a question about restaurant igloos. She writes, don't germs linger in the air once people leave? The next customers will be subjected to any germs airborne in these enclosed areas. Jane's referring to the fact that some restaurants are installing outdoor see-through igloos that keep diners outside but somewhat protects them from the cold. But you're right, these igloos would need to be aired out thoroughly before other diners are seated inside. Now, Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, she says, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways you can reach her. Email drmalika at cbs.com, on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.